Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Evan. Today, we're going to be diagnosing an old classic car motor, why it's not making compression. Let's do it. So these are our compression numbers right here. Bob, what is our first step? Uh, just checking air fuel mixer screws. Uh, they're not responding at all. We're gonna, it's gonna need a carburetor rebuild. That's not what we're here for. Right, right now I'm checking temperatures of exhaust. I'm gonna check for any vacuum leaks. Bob, what do these numbers indicate? Uh, high mileage. Bottom like line. It. Yeah, bottom line. Uh, five and six. Uh, we're going to do another compression test on those cylinders to see where they're at after you guys let that soak like that. How many years have you been working on these suckers? we got 40, about 43 years in here. This is why we're here with Bob. Let's do it again. That's 70. Go ahead and crank it over. Well, about to hit 100, huh? It's holding at 90. Let's do it one more time. One more time. Okay, well, we got 100 out of that one. Bob said he discovered a vacuum leak. What would that do back there? That uh, vacuum leak. Well, that definitely would lessen the cylinders. Right here, this nipple right here. Wow. It's got a little hole, a little pinhole here, right here, and all it does is suck, it's sucking vacuum. Uh, it's not gonna affect the cylinders that we have in question, but those numbers for seven and eight, which are a little bit low. So let's, let's just put a cap on that. Uh, better mileage. Okay. Uh, so we set this 
you got to remember these old motors, when the time is going to change stretches, you got to make sure that there puts up with the uh, timing. All right, okay. So instead of a factory setting, which we've never run that yet, you have a little more time, you got to compensate for the stretches. Okay. As you notice, it runs a little smoother than I gave it yeah. a couple of degrees. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see how it runs out on the big road. Make sure it doesn't ping or anything like that. If it does, we can turn it back a little bit. All right. So what I'm hoping is maybe with the car sitting so long that the rings are all uh, jumped up, bound up, and uh, you're not getting good compression. Yeah. According to the numbers that you guys gave on a wet test, Pressure come up, and that tells me we got back rain. Got it. Stick rain, something like that. Yeah. We're gonna take a chance on the stick. All right. Okay. So that's why I did the water, trying to hope to break up some of that stuff. Driving the car, put miles on it. Uh, will help boost all that stuff. Up. Yeah. So what's the uh, verdict on this old car? Uh, it's gonna be what it is is what it is. You know, I like it. High mileage. Uh, take it out and drive it. See if that steam test did any, you know, uh, see if it did any good. Um, it might break loose and come back around. Awesome. Well, that's pretty cool. That's from the racetrack City. at 59, the year he got the Oh, that's a stamp. Yeah, the old timer. It bends over on your little lapel. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I suggest a carburetor. All right. You know, you can buy a good Elder Brock carburetor. Uh, it'll mount right to this. Um, pretty much all the vacuum linkages, everything will work pretty good on that. Uh, that way we can get some uh, air fuel mixture tuning all on right. the carburetor. All see right. if we can't get it smooth out a little bit better. See you guys later. We'll go ripper. All right, and now for a rip around the block. Couple other updates. We did the AC Delco spark plugs on her, so she's running a lot smoother. And we're gonna go ripping around the block. We'll get a little tire squealing action for you. And I wanted to mention the fluids that we've done in this car. We've done the Amsoil motor oil, transmission fluid, the liquid cherry. We did the gear lube and a couple that you can put in right away to make a big difference, the upper cylinder lubricant. I put this in every full tank of gas in the Kitty Cat. That helps her run smoother. And I also use the Dominator Octane Booster. You'll have less pinging pre-ignition. You can get all these down in the description section below or the comment section. And when you use my link, you'll get the 25% off and uh, you'll get the other benefits of the Amsoil program. And the other benefit, when you use my link, I'll be your Amsoil dealer so I can answer all your questions on the products with all the different fluids and stuff. So the, yeah, the big thing is when you use the right fluids, which we're gonna put a video at the end of this, but first I gotta give you a little tire squeal in action. Three, two, one. Hot to trot, but yeah, she's running so much better and um, running smoother. And I'm excited to get the uh, carburetor that Bob recommended. We're going to be back to show that. And when you get the right fluids for your vehicle, you're going to have better performance. You're also going to have much better longevity. You say how much your motor could last two to four times longer by using the 100% synthetic fluids. And that's what you can get down in the description section. And if this car actually had that from day one, this car may not have this compression issue because the film between the metal would actually keep the metal separated. So this is 10% juice. It looks like real juice, but it's not. And that's like the motor oil that's in your vehicle. The motor oil that's in your vehicle is basically the lifeblood of what actually makes it run good. And uh, the higher quality you use, the better off it is. So now this, has 100% synthetic in the motor, transmission, and the differential. And that's what makes it run and shift so smooth. And uh, I'm gonna give you a little downshift here. We're in fourth gear. We're gonna do a, to the floor. Three, two, one. But I mean, that downshift is so fast, so smooth. And uh, that's what separates the metal and keeps it from wearing out. And I want you to check out this video right here. That's right when we did the first engine flush on this car to get it to run the way it does today and how us flushing out all those fluids. Check out this video here and we will see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. We'll do a little cheers to protection, protection, protection. <laughs>